Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I've got a fun project for you today. This is an old block called the Susanna and let's take a look at this quilt behind me. Isn't this fun? Now for me it's really fun because when you see the old blocks, they are not in these kind of colors. They're real scrappy, they're real earthy. And so when you see an old block in these kind of colors, it just makes it really fun. So to make this quilt, what you're gonna need is one packet of two and a half inch strips or 40 of them. And we've used Poppy Celebration by Cynthia Coulter for Wilmington Prints. You're also going to need um, two packs or 80 strips of background fabric. We've used this black here. You can also do that in yardage. The yardage amount is four and a half yards, or again, it's two strips. Uh, your, your inner border here is gonna be a half a yard, and your outer border is gonna be a yard and a half. And it just makes a really, really fun quilt. It makes a pretty big quilt. The quilt is 76 by 86. So let me show you how we did this. So to make this block, we're really talking about this little block right here. Four of these makes one of the big blocks right here. This makes the big block right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a strip and I've got one right here and we are just gonna pull this out of here. And let me move these out of the way. So now you have your strip right here and what we're gonna do first is we're gonna cut off our little selvage ends right here. We just don't want those to end up in our quilt somewhere. And then I'm gonna cut this fold right here. And then we're gonna have two separate pieces. Out of these pieces, the first one, you're gonna cut four and a half inch pieces. So I like to fold them in half so that I have less cutting area and I get more cuts every time I, um, I cut, I get more cuts. So I'm gonna lay this on here. These rectangles need to be four and a half inches. So we're gonna count one, two, three, four and a half. And we are gonna do that to this strip right here. So now we've got our half right here and one, two, three, four. And we're gonna go ahead and cut that right there. That's gonna give us four, four and a half inch rectangles. We're gonna set those aside. That's part of making our block. The other piece right here, we are going to sew to a background square. So let me grab one over here. Our background, we've used black. Um, I've already cut them in half and we're just gonna go ahead and put these together and sew a quarter of an inch right down the side. I'm gonna line up my, um, presser foot along the edge. I have my stitch set so that it sews a quarter of an inch from there. And I'm just going to sail down the side of this. And keep on going. Almost there. All right, there we are. Now, now what we're gonna do is we are gonna cut these in two and a half inch segments. Whenever you're gonna do, whenever you do a strip set like this with the two pieces and you're gonna cut two and a half inch segments, it's always easy to cut before you iron. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna straighten up my edge right here, just like that. And then I'm gonna cut these in two and a half inch segments all along here and just go ahead and cut up my whole little thing. So see here, I've got two and a half and I'm counting over one, two and a half. I have this nice little half inch on my ruler, which makes that really easy. And you're gonna need four of these for each block. All right, so I've got some here. Let's go over to the ironing board and press them open. Let's stick these down here, get them out of the way. All right, set our seams, put our dark fabric to the top. That helps us iron to the dark side so it doesn't show through. So our seam doesn't show through the fabric. And we are gonna iron all of these. Now we just need four for our block. Oh, those are just extras. So here's our four, one, two, three, four. And now what we're gonna do is we are going to attach this four and a half inch rectangle to the other side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this here and we're gonna attach the rectangle 
on this side. So it's going to make a little block just like that. So let's go over to the sewing machine and we're going to do that four times. All right, again, quarter of an inch right along that side. And these you can chain piece, they're easy. So I'm just going to go ahead and sew these on and I'll meet you right back here. Now I've got all these done and we're going to press them open. Again, setting my seams and just rolling back. And one more. All right. Now what we're going to do is really we're only going to use one of these in each block because we're mixing them all up and they're scrappy. But what we have to do first is we have to snowball this outer corner right here. So we're going to take our two and a half inch square right here. We're going to press it so we have a sew line. We're going to add this over here to the corner and we're going to stitch directly diagonally side to side on that. And you're going to do that with all your blocks like this and your blocks will end up in it you know you're just going to stack them in a big stack because you're going to mix them all up all right so here's here's our little block we're going to trim this piece off we're going to iron this back and that's our block that's how you make that all right so now when you're ready to put these together, you're going to grab your whole stack of them because you've done this to all your blocks. You're going to grab the whole stack and you're going to mix them up and you're going to give it a scrappy look and you're going to turn all these corners to the center so it makes the diamond. And that right there is the Susanna. Oh, wait. <laughs> Almost got me there. This is the Susanna block right here. And then you put it together just like a four patch. So let's go ahead and put that together. We're going to go over the sewing machine. Just sew twos and then sew our rows of twos together. Here we go. One more. And I'm just chain piecing these. which means sewing one after the other. And then I'm going to open them up and they should be right in the right place to sew right together. And they are. You can see my two little pieces connecting. We're just going to fold them over and sew that together. You can match up all your little seams so you make sure your block stays nice and square. Mostly it's the edge and the middle. And this black actually is a little hard for me to see, so I just did that by feel. You know, you can feel when, it, when your fabrics are nice and tight together. So we'll see what happens. Because <laughs> I couldn't actually see it. Sometimes, you know, some of those colors get hard on our eyes. Oh, there we go. That looks pretty good. And this right here is the Susanna block. Isn't that cute? It's just a cute little block. So how we put ours together, we used a sashing in between, which means whatever size your block ends up, that's the size you're going to cut your sash. And we have, I have one here where I've sewn the sash on, right here. And you can see, see the sash just attaches, and then you're going to attach your blocks just like this. You're going to make a long row of them. And then when you're ready to do your, your sashing in between, you're going to go ahead and take, the, again, the sashing size is the same size as your block with your little corner square. And the corner square is also the same, same size. So if your sashing is two and a half, which ours is, then your corner block is going to be a two and a half inch square. And it's going to go right in the middle there, just like that. So let's look at the quilt behind me so I can show you on this. So here's our sashing strips in between. When you sew a whole row together with sashing strips, then you're going to come back in and you're going to add this little sashing row right here where it starts and ends 
with a cornerstone as well. You're going to put one all the way across the top and down the sides as well. So then you're going to add this little two and a half inch border and your final border as your end. Now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six blocks, six by seven. 42 uh, blocks in all is what you're going to get and it just makes a beautiful quilt. This is one that's fun to try in all different types of colors and I mean it's just really a fun old-fashioned block. So we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the Susanna block from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.